Well, demonstrators marched by the thousands across the United States to protest increasing state restrictions on abortion. The marches were largely sparked by a Texas law that went into effect last month. Peter Caveas has details. Women's rights advocates gathered at the Texas Capitol to protest against the country's most restrictive abortion law. The state's so-called heartbeat law, which went into effect September 1st, bans abortion after cardiac activity is detected in the embryo, usually around six weeks. That is before most women know they are pregnant, and earlier than 85 to 90 percent of all abortions are carried out, experts say. Texas also lets ordinary citizens enforce the ban, rewarding them at least $10,000 if they successfully sue anyone who helped provide an illegal abortion. I felt betrayed by my politician. How dare they? How dare they do that to their women? And to do this without a real vote? Several hundred protests were held throughout the United States, including in the Capitol, where protesters marched to the U.S. Supreme Court. This year alone, we have seen nearly 600 restrictions introduced in 47 states. So no matter where you live, no matter where you are, this fight is at your doorstep right now. The demonstration in Washington comes two days before the Supreme Court reconvenes. During the session, justices will consider a Mississippi case that could enable them to overturn abortion rights established in the landmark 1973 Roe v. Wade case. If the court overturns the precedent, abortion access would no longer be protected by the Constitution, leaving states free to ban it, limit it, or allow it without restrictions. The justices, in a 5-4 decision September 1st, already denied a request from abortion and women's health providers to block enforcement of the Texas law. Abortion rights advocates and the U.S. Justice Department have challenged the Texas law in state and federal courts, arguing it violates the principles set by the Roe v. Wade case. Peter Caveos, TVB News.